Like many people during COVID, I got made redundant. It was really difficult to find another role at that time. And uh, I started sort of conjuring up this idea of uh, working with clients that are on a mission to save the planet. Um, and I could play my little part in connecting you know, mission-driven candidates with um, values and uh, mission-driven uh, clients as well. And so well, what are you passionate about? What do you want to see change in the world? And how can I help you find an employer that is going to you know, live that dream for you as well? I think the most surprising thing was I didn't know I had a real business. I didn't know if people were going to resonate with um, a recruitment agent that was ethically aligned, mission aligned, and that there was enough people, both uh, job seekers and hirers, that would value what I was bringing to the market. When I was doing my research, I was just getting this overwhelming response from people saying, this is such a great idea. I think you're hitting the market at the right time. You know, people want to be able to know that they are turning up for work every day and having an impact, no matter how small it is. I believe that recruitment plays a very significant part in uh, economic growth and, and, and wealth. But it's also a very pressurised environment. That often then drives cutting corners and a transactional nature of recruitment. For my business, um, it's twofold. I've got the ethics and values in terms of the types of clients and candidates that I work with that are aligned with uh, wanting to solve a world problem or wanting to solve a community problem and are really passionate about that. But then internally, how I manage the business and the processes, I have to live up to those ethics as well. That's always been absolutely important to me. I've never been a transactional recruiter. And it's about engaging with people. I love engaging with people. I don't want to just flick CVs. And I think that's where it often falls down uh, in the industry, that they're under immense pressure uh, to just fill jobs rather than satisfying a, a customer's need. Uh, and that's what I try and drive my business um, to always do. I've uh, made a lot of changes personally. I have switched to a, to a vegan uh, lifestyle, not just in what I consume in terms of food, but all other aspects of what being uh, an ethical vegan means. And then I started to realize that wasn't even enough. And I was looking at all the waste that I produce. Now I have pots of different things that I put all the, my bottle top lids and my batteries and my used pens. There's a lot that we need to do in this country and we need to get councils and governments on board we can always keep improving and keep doing playing a little bit there's a lot of people that are on board and wanting to make change for the better so I'm very hopeful for the future and look not everybody can work in a meaningful or purpose-driven business but there's things you can do at a personal level to be able to contribute to that 100% whether it be volunteering whether it be donating whether it be just you know being that conscious consumer there's so many things you can do and hopefully one day you might also be able to work in a business that also drives that as well. Which means come talk to me. <laughs>